Good morning. I didn't know I was up against Scott Hanselman. Now I feel much honored that you joined me this morning. Um, so uh, I am a product manager on .NET Maui, .NET team. Uh, everybody uh, who, who does not know what .NET Maui is in this room, got a, my product team just raised their hands. Are you raising your hand ironically? No. Okay, all right. So Maui is the ability to use .NET to build Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows applications uh, from a single code base. Or you can have multiple code bases if you like it paid by the code base. You know, you can just kind of stretch that out. There's dad joke number one. Maddie, pay attention. No. <laughs> so uh, with .NET MAUI, we ship something called the Blazor WebView. Blazor is part of ASP.NET. It allows you to write web applications all with C Sharp and nary a sign of JavaScript anywhere. How many JavaScript developers are in the room? See? So you actually like JavaScript, or you use it, or you at least know it, and you get paid for it. So um, here's just a, a quick look at what the Blazor web view is, and actually the third session in this room, not Dan Roth, but after that from Syncfusion, he is going to be Michael. Michael is going to be presenting on Blazor Hybrid and .NET MAUI, so you should stick around for that. Um, so essentially, here's what it is. This is my uh, point of sale food service app. The desktop version is super sweet. It's in our Maui samples repo. It has like a whole, you know, you, much bigger UI. But this is your checkout UI, similar to what you might have been using all week in downtown Seattle when you go to pay for your bill, right? So the wait waiter or waitress uh, picks your thing and says, okay, we're ready for you to pay for it. Then you come in and you say, I'm gonna give 20, maybe 30%. Are we big tippers, 30%? No, too much? You drank too much, 30% is a lot of money. So let's go back down to 20. Um, we will continue. Then we have a nice little animation in here. And now I can create a signature. I can add a signature, right? And you always do something like that, because it doesn't matter. Does not matter, never checked. Um, and they say done. So here's the thing, that signature component right there is a Blazor WebView component. It is not actually a native UI component. There's a whole ton of Blazor components out in the universe that you can choose from. You can grab a NuGet package and bring it in and start using it. So here is that particular page, that signature page. And I have, you know, obviously a bunch of other layout things, but right in the middle there where that white box popped up, I have a Blazor web view. And here I'm pointing it to uh, the main file, main layout razor. So uh, Blazor uses razor files. It's a nice uh, markup syntax templating engine, something, something like that, right? Is that good fair templating? Um, and so what's beautiful about Razor, of course, is that I can do my HTML markup stuff. I have the third party or open source component for the signature canvas here. And then I've got C Sharp right here, which is fantastic. Um, one really cool thing about this is, is even though it is a web component, I can do things like clearing and saving and sending the, uh, the information to my data model and accessing my data and all that sort of thing right from the web view. Yes, the UI gets painted into a web view, but all this .NET code gets rendered, you know, compiled down to .NET, so it's really no different in that respect from all of my other .NET MAUI code where I might be doing accelerometer, local storage, secure storage, all that sort of thing, right? So very cool. Um, again, stay later for Michael's session, and he will give you a deep dive on that. So here's what happened, right? We started going out and talking to customers and showing this to them. And while many folks were using it and excited about it, we heard from a lot of customers that, hey, you know what though? We don't actually use Blazor. We're interested in it, but we've got a ton of Angular code. We've got a ton of React code. Can I use that in the same way? And at the time, we didn't have anything for you. So I am introducing you to the hybrid web view today. It is experimental. Um, and we want to get your feedback on it. You can take any Angular component and React.js component, and you can add the hooks that are needed to then integrate that with your desktop mobile applications, especially if they're built with .NET MAUI, because that's the host that we're talking about today. 
So Alon Lipton is on our team. He's on the Maui team, formerly on the ASP.NET team. He is one of the original creators of the Blazor WebView. And so this is based uh, extensively <clears throat> on that foundational work. Um, but again, it is geared more towards your raw JavaScript. Now, you might have uh, you know, some JS library you created. Does that work? Absolutely, you can totally do that too. Um, so yeah, this is the repo. Go there, we are gonna put it in a more official place uh, in the near future, but for now you can go there. Um, and in here you can find how do I get this stuff set up. So I'm not gonna read a, a web page to you. Uh, you can go read that on your own, but let's jump over to some code and see this in action. So here I am, let's see, is this the right one? Yep, this is the simple demo. Um, so this is really just a file new .NET MAUI application, and with file new .NET MAUI, like I said, you get Android, iOS, Mac, Tizen, and Windows. So all five of those platforms, and some of the Tizen team is actually here in the second row. So if anybody's interested in what you can do with Tizen, where Tizen runs, um, how you can get them to do things for you, uh, go talk to these guys. Grab them out in the hall, not in the room. Don't grab them in the room. Pay attention to this. Um, so all I've really done here, I'll catch you up to speed. Um, I thought about coding this in front of you, but in 15 minutes, you, know, you don't want to see me typing or just copy and pasting. So here's the key. You want to get started with this. You just go to NuGet from the solution, which you know I always wish that was on the project. And here you will just search for, you can search hybrid web view or EJL. EJL is uh, Alon J. Lipton. <laughs> and here's the, the hybrid web view. Add that to your project. And then you have the NuGet package with this component in it. You then need to come into your MAUI program. So in .NET MAUI, MAUI program is where you set up your host builder. If you've done any ASP.NET, that's probably a very similar concept that you're familiar with. This is where you're going to do things such as setting up the app, registering custom fonts. Uh, and then here, you see that I am telling .NET MAUI that I have a hybrid web view control that is now available to be used. So this registers it with .NET MAUI, and I'm ready to go. All right. So of course, I need some JavaScript code. So over here in the resources folder, I have a raw folder. Raw is a good landing place for anything that's just a file you need to use. A text file, an HTML file, a markdown file. And in this case, I'm going to load up the web files uh, for this particular application. So uh, it's very straightforward. I have an index file. I have a JavaScript file. Those are really the only two things you need here. And let's walk through and, and take a quick look at what those are. So here's my HTML. Of course, I give it a little bit of styling because nobody wants to see Times Roman ever. Did anybody catch the Times New Roman in the keynote demo? Yes. Did anybody else? Come on, somebody tell me you saw Times Roman. It was on a button in the demo. It made my skin crawl. Um, Hybrid WebView uh, comes in the NuGet package, so I'm just referencing it here so that I have those methods at my disposal. And then there's my uh, app.js, and I've got a few things here. I've got a, uh, an input field so I can type some messages. I've got a button so that I can then click on that button and send things over to uh, C Sharp Land. So how do I send things to C Sharp Land? So I have a hybrid WebView, and I can then send raw messages to .NET. Very, very descriptive method name, right? Should be easy to find. Um, and then I'm gonna send that. And I hear you asking already in your minds, is it really just passing strings? Can I do complex objects? Yes, you can do complex objects. And I will show you that in the next demo with my remaining six minutes. Um, and then I have some other methods here for bringing things back from C Sharp and doing things within the web view. All right, before I click over and run this, let's look at one more thing. So my uh, .NET MAUI application, everything starts in the app file. That creates the window that the app's going to run in, and it establishes the first view, or we call them content pages, that you're going to look at. Um, and so the main page is what we actually are going to load up and look at. And just like that Blazor web view, we have the hybrid web view here. I give it a little bit of extra information, such as a height, um, if you ever give something uh, no height or width information in MAUI and for whatever reason it's not showing up, little tip, give it a width and a height and see if you can see it. 
um, and it's probably a layout uh, you know, thing that you want to work with. Okay, so I've got this here. The main things to get the hybrid web view stuff going, I need to give it an asset root so that it has a context in which it knows to go find the resources. And then I need to give it a main file, main file being index.html, right? And then I have a, a listener, on an, an event listener here for when I get those messages from uh, JavaScript. And then I've got uh, some things here that I can interact with this web view from the, the MAUI side. Now I'm showing this in XAML. Uh, who, who was like, I am never gonna touch XAML in my entire life, please, never? Okay, a couple of brave souls. You're in a Microsoft conference, I get it. It's hard to, hard to admit. Um, you don't have to use it. You don't have to use XAML. You can do all this in C-sharp. But XAML's cool, we love XAML, so I'm showing you XAML. All right, let's run this puppy. So firstly, because I saw that several people have never heard of MAUI before, you can choose from amongst all these things to run. So I've got Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows that I can run from here. Um, I am actually running on a Mac, in case you didn't already notice that. Is that bothering anybody? You'll get over it. It's an M1, battery lasts forever, fan never comes on, it's freaking amazing. And it runs ARM64 Windows through Parallels and Visual Studio. It's so good, it's really so good. All right, this is why they need to give me like half an hour, I've got 3.45 left. When I recorded this demo at home and I didn't have an audience, so there were no dad jokes, I was done in 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna do 15? Uh, all right, so this is booting up. Here's my uh, WinUI app, because everything is native. Um, so this bit up here, this is all uh, native UI at the top. I've got an entry field and I've got a submit button. Um, in Visual Studio, I can actually come over here to my XAML Live Preview. Again, XAML doesn't mean anything. It could be C-sharp too. But I can poke at this and it gives me some information, some very helpful information about that UI. And I can click on it and it takes me directly to that XAML in my editor. Sweet. So that's where that's coming from. And then if I actually uh, zoom in on the hybrid web view, there's my hybrid web view. So let's go ahead and kind of poke around at this. So first things first, this yellow bit, that's all that, that web view stuff, right? So here's my input field. Um, you can see it kind of looks HTML-y. You can style it however you want to, just get yourself a nice bootstrap theme, something like that, it'll be great. So I can do something like welcome to build, right? Wow, Who, who's typing? I can send to C-sharp, and C-sharp then pops a native uh, alert. So real quick, let's look at that native alert. So you can kind of see where that magic is happening. So down here, here's that hybrid uh, raw messages received, right? That's a part of that hybrid web view. And then down here, because I don't get this, I get this instead. I display the alert and it's the message, okay, right? It's a native UI element. On Android, you would get the Android version. On iOS, you get the iOS version, et cetera. So let's, do a few more things here because I added a few fun things in here. So I can say again, this is from C Sharp now. Welcome to build. And that now appends it to a div that's inside of my HTML. Um, have you been having a good time? Nobody? No? This is this is boring. This is so this is so boring. Um, <laughs> Have you gotten a, a .NET bot sticker? Oh, what happened? It's an Easter egg, I blitzed it. So I was playing around, I was, pl thank you. I was playing around with Bing this morning and we were having a conversation and I said, how can I make an ASCII art .NET bot? And it helped me create a bot. So there you go, all right, 45 seconds. <laughs> so, okay, you're like, well, where's the really, where's the meat? Where's the meat? I mean, come on. So let me close this, let me minimize this. Oh look, there's another one right behind it. So this is an actual React app. Um, and so we grabbed this React app, brought it in. Let me just, it's running right here. And so what's happening here in this React app is this is native UI at the top, and this is a to-do list application built in React.js. 
I can add things to it, you know, get off the stage in 10 seconds. Um, and you saw that the to-do items at the top is actually changing. So that's super useful. Also, Control-Shift-I, I have all of my web dev tools here. I can go ahead and inspect my web UI, and I'm out of time.